Welcome to another episode of What I Learned from Bobby Hemet. And these are snippets of talking about black celebrity sacrifices. And um, it's this is pre-made so that you can apply it to any sacrifice that is coming down the pike, which is normal. It's normal. So we want to look at the ingredients of sacrifices. And I'm even making predictions because when the, 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 the thing you can predict is when they bring somebody out of the woodworks that doesn't have prominence and that, that is not anywhere, you know, they're, the height of their fame, they're way past it. They are well known worldwide, but it's not like they're making music now. So they are a past tense God, but they're, they're still using them. So we have Smokey Robinson, Stevie Wonder. By the way, Smokey is a, like a, another word for ash. Ash is black. Uh, Robinson, son, S-O-N is always S-U-N, talking about the real son, the star inside your pineal gland. We talked about, I just mentioned, I haven't, I'm going to get, I'm going to make a biographies on these people ahead of time, because that's what your, your um, peanut butter and jelly gang do anyway. They already have death bios on these people. So as soon as they arrange for them to kick the bucket, they have the death bio within one minute of, of um, the announcement. They have an entire video made about their entire life. And they're making money on it. Just like they did Aretha's um, death and had people buy tickets. And that is disgraceful to me. I mean, in my opinion, but I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little bit sane, but it's insane to buy tickets for somebody's funeral. That's insane. But the peanut butter jelly gang did it. And your black people that are poor actually paid to see the body of Aretha Franklin. She doesn't know these people. Why would you want to see a dead body? That is a conditioning also. You, you, you should, you need to appreciate people while they're alive. And you should, you obviously know that they are returning back to the dust. So they will, their body will see decay. So why would you want someone to artificially put, you know, do all kinds of fuckery to the body so you can look at it? That's that's Frankenstein mentality. That's barbarianism. You know, you have no idea what they're really doing to the bodies. They are taking the body parts and the pineal gland. Sorry to tell you that. So anyway, we want to keep this short. The ingredients, okay? Some of the ingredients are number one. They're black. Number two, the death happens on a holiday. Number three, the death happens on an equinox. Number four, they won't have any heirs. Let me repeat that. They will not have heirs. Or something's going to happen to those heirs or they will not have black heirs. They're going to have white heirs. They're not going to have black heirs. That's why they make sure that these black celebrities, and we can put number five, they're married to a, um, they're married to um, someone from the peanut butter jelly gang, usually. Or they're married to a Caucasian. You look at all, pretty much all celebrities except Denzel Washington, because they have to play duality with you. Even if they have one exception, you're going to say, oh, but Denzel Washington, you know, he, he believes in black love. 
Yeah, but the the the, the vast majority don't. Ninety nine point nine percent don't. And I'm not saying that they don't. It's just that they are they are told what to do. They are told what to do. So they are that 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 relationship is arranged. It's arranged. Um, I already told you the ingre- the ingredients. Okay, they're going to be married to a Caucasian. Their their money is not going to go to their family. And there's going to be something with the numbers of what of the day that they die. You can you can compare it to other celebrity death days, and they will have died near the same um, date. Um, then something else you need to look at is what relatives in their, um, in their time of fame, what relatives died or had a horrible death. Now, you, you gotta be under a walk, a rock if you don't know that Jennifer Hudson, her whole family was sacrificed. I mean, the 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 kind of the kind of thing that happened with her is not just an accident. Oh, somebody came and shot up the whole family. It's like it happens, and and these people still make movies, and people still go and watch their fucking movie. You know who else is due for a sacrifice? Is I mean, to be sacrificed is um, the guy who played God. Um, uh, but he all oh, he's all he's he's always given a prominent position. He's always given a high status position. Um, he's always regarded well in a movie. But he did place he has played in his younger years he did play some uh, slave roles or something like that. They all do. But anyway, his stepdaughter got brutally, ritually, satanically, so-called satanically, because we know Satan is is melanin, um, butchered on the street. And this is like, no big deal. Like, it was reported one day and the next day, okay. Uh, business as usual, Hollywood business as usual. No, no breakdown of the father, no tears, no, this needs to get investigated. I mean, like, no, um, I'm at a loss for words right now, but, but no insistence of, tragedy you know this is this is outrageous you know Uh, so i mean how could nobody not see this shit you know anyway that ends another episode of what i learned from bobby hammond on celebrity sacrifices